I recently read an article that noted that every Democratic candidate who has won the Kansas caucus has become the Democratic nominee, that it has a 100% accuracy rate at predicting uh, the, the eventual Democratic nominee. So I'm going to look into that today and determine if Bernie Sanders should be packing his bags for the White House on today's Liberal News. So long, so long, so long. Hello? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. In 1976, it was Governor Jimmy Carter who won the Kansas caucus and then the Democratic nomination. And then in 1980, it was President Carter against Ted Kennedy who won the Kansas caucus and the, the Democratic nomination. Uh, of course, he did lose the general election to President Reagan. <laughs> um, and then in 1984, it was Vice President Walter Mondale. Uh, in 1988, Michael Dukakis. In 1992, uh, Bill Clinton. In 1996, it was Bill Clinton again for his re-election. Um, in 2000, it was Al Gore. In 2004, John Kerry. In 2008, Barack Obama. In 2012, Barack Obama. And now it's 2016, and Bernie Sanders has won. So, I, I don't really think there's any, there's much to it. You know, it's, uh, it, it, there's no scientific proof that says if you if you win a bell that there's no there's no bellwether like definitive answer you know bellwethers are just an interesting phenomenon that happens it's not anything like scientifically proven that if that there are bellwether states I mean you know the county that I live in was considered a bellwether county in the general election for years and years and years and all of a sudden we voted red in the last two elections and in the last two elections we elected Barack Obama so. Bellwether states have, you know, are are interesting and they're fun to talk about, but I don't think it proves much. And I do think that this time Kansas will have picked the losing candidate, unfortunately. Bernie is doing phenomenally well, but Kansas only has 37 delegates. And of those 37, he won 23 to Hillary's 11 with three superdelegates still remaining. Um, and when you think of the fact that you need 2,383 to win the Democratic nomination this year, uh, 37 is not very much. And, 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 and frankly, 23 is even less. So... I think it's hard to say that 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 the Kansas bellwether theory is going to hold uh, hold true on this one, especially because uh, Senator Sanders has a 200 delegate deficit, and that's going to be hard for him to make up. In order to do that, he's going to have to win by landslide margins in in states like Ohio and Florida and Illinois and, and North Carolina, the, the places that are voting on the 15th. Um, if polls are to be believed, which clearly after Michigan they're not, but if polls are to be believed, he's not going to win by a significant margin. In Michigan, uh, yes, the polls showed him, you know, sometimes as high as 25 points behind, and he won by 1 to 2%. But that's not enough because in Michigan, he won Michigan by 2%, but Hillary Clinton won walked away with more delegates thanks to the superdelegate advantage. And yes, superdelegates super delegates can change their opinion, but the only way usually that you're going to do that is if you start winning more pledged delegates. And for Bernie to make up a 200-delegate deficit, he's going to have to win by a significant margin. And 2% isn't going to do it because we have a proportional delegate allowance system. And in order for him to win, he's going to have to win big to get a good delegate deficit, you know, to get a good delegate advantage. And it just doesn't look like that's going to happen for him um, with, you know, this another statistic uh, like Kansas, the Democratic candidate who went the any candidate in the history of ever who wins the most states on Super Tuesday wins their Republican or the, their um party's nomination on both sides uh every candidate ha that has won has won because of super tuesday maybe not because of super tuesday but it definitely helps you know i saw a, a meme going around that bernie sanders supporters shared on my facebook and it said that barack obama lost super tuesday but that's literally not true barack obama won 13 states on super tuesday to hillary clinton's 10 which was a much more bigger Super Tuesday. And he won, he got that delegate advantage, and superdelegates started switching their support to him. That's not going to happen for Bernie Sanders, I don't think. What about other bellwether states? Maybe Kansas isn't the only one. Kansas is the only one with a 100% accuracy right now. But of the next three that have the next highest, it's 87.51% so far that they have 
uh, their candidate has has won the nomination, and that's Georgia, Virginia, and Minnesota. And of those three, Hillary won Georgia and Virginia, Bernie won Minnesota. If you look at the states who have a greater than 50% prediction rate, which are Kansas, Virginia, Minnesota, Georgia, Maine, Louisiana, Colorado, Arkansas, Alabama, Nebraska, Texas, and Tennessee, Bernie only wins five of those to Hillary's seven. Hillary has won more states with higher um, delegate counts, first of all, but Hillary has won more states that have a higher, you know, bellwether um, prediction rate than Bernie Sanders. Uh, Bernie Sanders should be looking at his 200 delegate deficit. Uh, his supporters, it's it's time for you to come to reality. Um, your candidate is doing, Bernie is a phenomenal senator. He's doing so much better than anybody expected. I have a lot of respect for him. He's going to be tremendous in whatever he, you know, if he wins, great, I'll vote for him. But, you know, you have to look at it this way. Hillary Clinton will probably be the Democratic nominee. A lot of his supporters do believe that. Um, a lot of Democrats just in general believe that. Uh, polls show this, um, delegate counts, super delegates. All of these things are pointing towards Hillary Clinton as the nominee. And uh, Sanders supporters believe that if they just kick up enough dust on the internet that their candidate will win, and that's just not how it works. There's a process, and Hillary Clinton is winning that process, and you have to respect her for that. We, I'm not trying to discredit any of Bernie Sanders' wins. He's doing a tremendous job, and I wish him all of the best luck. I am supporting Hillary Clinton for the nomination, and I do think that it's time for Democrats to take a good look at the two candidates and see who can actually win in November. Polls show Bernie working better against Donald Trump, but I don't believe it. You know, Clearly, if we're to look at Michigan, the polling didn't matter. So I think it's time for some Bernie Sanders to suck it up, get on board, and stop being angry when Hillary Clinton becomes the nominee. There's too much at stake in this election to allow Donald Trump to win, and I truly think Hillary Clinton has a great chance at winning the nomination and winning the presidency, and we've got to get in line because Donald Trump will probably be the Democrat or the Republican nominee. I mean, he just won the Kentucky primary, which does have a 100% prediction rate on the Republican side. He's scary. He needs to be stopped. And I think the best person to do that is Hillary Clinton. Fuck the Kansas bellwether. It's not real. Stop living in your delusion that somehow Bernie Sanders is going to win the nomination. It's over for him. I don't think he should drop out. I think he should stay in, but he's not there. It's mathematically impossible after the 15th if he doesn't win a huge margin of the vote. And in all of these states, then he's mathematically impossible for him to be the nominee. I truly believe that. Even if he got every single superdelegate, I don't think it would be possible for him to win this nomination. Hillary Clinton ha has a strategic and strong advantage, and they need to start listening to that. Wake up, people. It's not Bernie's time, and it never will be. You have to look at the fact that Democrats are voting for Hillary Clinton, that people want Hillary Clinton. Stop fighting it. Continue voting for who you want, but stop fighting it and stop trying to tear her down because when it comes down to it, she's better than any Republican and I would much rather have President Clinton than President Trump or President Cruz. We have too much at stake in this next election to give it up because, because Bernie didn't win or Hillary didn't win. There's more at stake than that. And if you're going to sit it out, you might as well just vote for a Republican. And if you're voting for a Republican, don't watch this fucking show.